Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Midnight Rambles. The Thanksgiving break was exactly what I needed. I don't know about you guys, but it was nice to just relax, take a break from life, and hang out with family and friends for a while. Not worrying about anything, not really doing much of anything either, though I probably should have been. But you know, you can't work all the time. Gotta have some time for yourself or else you'll burn out. Goodness knows I've done that before. It's really no fun. Tonight, I thought I'd talk about... At the suggestion of a friend of mine, actually. Dinosaurs, of all things. If I had to pick what my favorite dinosaur would be, probably be generic is all out and all can be T-Rex. I mean, they have such tiny little arms. Not to mention they're so cool and so strong. And plus... I had a T-Rex toy, a pretty cool-looking T-Rex toy, that I played with all the time, along with another dinosaur that had this horn protruding from the back of its head. I made them fight all the time. It was so much fun. The T-Rex dinosaur that I had was a deep green with a black ridge running all the way from its head to the tip of its tail. And it had these hyper-realistic scales on it you could feel and run your hands along. And its teeth were pretty sharp and pointy, despite their being plastic. The jaws and stuff didn't move. It was like a full body to plastic figure, but it was like there was nothing that I couldn't do with it, or the other dinosaurs either. I could make them fight, I could sing and dance with them in musicals, which I kind of did sometimes. I don't remember what the musicals were most of the time, but I just remember doing them and singing along and feeling like I was a complete and total awesome person. Was I really as awesome as I w thought I was in my tiny little blue and black Pokemon hat? singing along in my little fancy pants that were probably a size too big for me because I insisted upon them being a size too big for me because I don't like wearing tight things. I just, I like being able to breathe more than I like my clothes fitting me. That's why they invented belts. I mean, gotta use them for something. And my verdict now? All these, uh, let me do some math. Um, we're gonna go with 20 years. All these 20 years later. Yes. Ha. I think, yeah, I think I was pretty awesome. What kid can say that they ran around having dinosaur musicals? Probably lots of kids, actually. But you know what? I want to feel special. Because... <laughs> sniff, sniff. I am special. And so is everyone else, actually. <laughs> Notwithstanding. That I am desperately trying to act for the purpose of making you laugh and cry and enjoy yourself <laughs> because I want to have fun doing these kinds of things. And what's the point in life if you can't find joy in the smallest of things? It'd be a pretty boring life if you couldn't laugh at yourself or smile. <laughs> I kind of miss those dinosaur toys if I'm honest. But gave him away. And I hope some kid, or some adult, there's no limit to the age that you can stop playing after all. 
Toys are for everyone. I hope whoever has them now. I hope they're happy. And being treated well. Kind of what I hope for all of my old toys. <laughs> Man. The other day, I was cleaning my room trying to get to my closet so that I could show someone special to me something. My old Lego box. I actually finally managed to get it pulled out, and when I opened it up, man, what a surprise. I can't believe that I had some old Hot Wheels cars in there. Completely forgot about those things. And an old harmonica, too. God only knows why I put a harmonica in there. I was a weird little kid. I'm still pretty weird now. I enjoyed being a weird little kid. Thought about the weirdest and the strangest of things. Probably like all kids. I'm trying to make it sound like I'm some kind of child anomaly. But in all honesty, all kids probably do these kinds of things. And especially only children like myself. Gotta find ways to entertain us. Or we get bored pretty easily. We're so used to doing things on our own when we try and play with other kids sometimes. It can be tough for us. Some of us take to it like water. Others, like me, who are kind of introverted, are kind of like, Yeah, you cool. But at the same time, I want to kind of go do my own thing. Hmm. I think... My Lego box was just kind of my catch-all. Clean everything up as quickly as possible before I get in trouble for having a dirty room box. <laughs> I am terrible at cleaning sometimes. Even now, I'll kind of just put things into piles. Like, they're neat little piles. I will admit I've gotten better about that. Like, I have a clothes pile. I have a dishes pile to be put away in the kitchen and then I have a whoops I was gonna throw that out with a trash pile guess I'll do it tomorrow and I finally today got rid of the whoops trash pile so it's no longer staring me in the face accusing me of being lazy like buddy you don't know my life you don't know me don't judge me for my decisions only I can judge me for my decisions, and I do, every day. So, ha, you're not telling me anything that I don't already know about myself. <laughs> Sometimes, I really wonder if I've gone off the rails. You know, just that general feeling of, huh. Wonder why on earth I'm doing this. And then I remember, oh yeah. Because I'm supposed to go out and find my own purpose in life. I can't just have it handed to me. That would be boring. And then I stop thinking about those kinds of things for a while because I get distracted by a pirate book. And oh my gosh, you guys. I am learning so much about pirates right now. There are so many different kinds of ships. I always just kind of called them big ship with three masts, little ship with two masts, and the thing that I might actually be able to sail with like the turny sail thing that people use to go across ocean waves for sports. Those thingies, whatever those thingies are, that I might be able to sail. But in actuality... Pirates didn't like the big ships. And it's so weird because you would think, man, you could hold so much treasure on there, but I didn't realize the more treasure and weight you have on a ship, the more it would sink into the water because, in my mind, they're ships. They're supposed to be buoyant and bouncy and not sink below the ocean waves. guess I forgot that 
science and mass and actual gravity is a thing for a hot second. <laughs> My bad. Well, it's always good to learn things though like that. Mostly because I can spend all of my time rewriting every pirate fantasy I have ever had to be more slightly accurate, still exaggerated, still ridiculous, still with me jumping over the railings of ships, waving a sword that is way too big for my body, scaring everybody on board, and being a really awesome pirate captain. But this time, on a more accurate brigantine ship, with 24 pound guns loaded into the middle of my decks with my aft and fore rigged sails that allow me to safely sail the seas. Yeah, I'm a nerd. A nerd and proud of it. <laughs> Man. Do you guys ever sometimes just take a second and think about the person you love and even when you're in the middle of rambling sometimes like I am right now, they just bring a smile to your face because you know the things you're saying are going to make them laugh? Kind of the expression I have on my face right now. <laughs> my partner. It's a big nerd like I am. And it's wonderful, you guys. There's so much we can talk about because of that. And I can feel safe being myself. And it's really a feeling I never thought that I'd have a chance to feel. You know, because you never expect meeting someone, and then you do, and your whole world just kind of gets bigger and brighter, and you see the world in a different way because they're with you. And you're part of their world. And they share their beliefs. And their dreams. And their hopes. And their hobbies. And their family's life. With you. And suddenly. You get. So much more history out of the world. So much more anticipation and wonder especially when your partner takes the time even throughout the Thanksgiving holiday which is a time for family to make sure to still include you that is a really special feeling and it makes me extremely grateful for everything that I have. And I hope that all of you out there are able to find someone like that. And I know you will. And if that's not for you, then you've got a best friend who makes you feel the exact same way, or a family member, or a pet, because love can come in so many different forms, in so many different directions, and everybody deserves to feel it. Love is love. And I think on that note, I'll end it here, guys. Thanks so much for listening. If you have any comments about love, about dinosaurs, about pirates and pirate ships, or love, 
I've probably said love twice. I have the memory of a sponge and a chipmunk combined into a single human brain. But if you have any comments about any of that, leave them down in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe if you want to. Until next time, you guys. This is Airsize Xerxes. Ooh, wait, also the notification bell. That's a thing too. I always forget about that one. <laughs> YouTuber extraordinaire, I am not. But really now, until next time, you guys, this is Arisai Xerxes signing out. Bye, guys! <laughs>